In this guide, I'll show you how to fix the critical error message inside of Valorant. It's a straightforward one to fix. You'll just need to go through each of these solutions to find the one that works for you. So we're going to start by coming over to our start menu and you need to search for device manager and then head over to the device manager tab. Inside of this window, we need to come down to display adapters and expand this list and you need to locate your graphics card inside of here. Now I'm using this AMD graphics card here. So we're just going to right click on our card and come into update driver. Then you need to press search automatically for drivers and just ensure you're running the latest driver for your device. And if you're fully up to date, we can then close out of these windows and we're next going to head back over to the start menu and this time search for settings and then tap on the settings icon. From the left here, scroll all the way down to windows update and you'll need to press this check for updates button just to ensure we are running the latest version of Windows as sometimes this step is overlooked, but it can help fix the critical error message. So once you've installed any pending updates inside of here, we can just close out of this window. And the next thing you need to do is head back over to the start menu and we're gonna search for run and then just tap on the run icon. In this search box, we need to type in msconfig and then hit enter and then head over to services tab from the top here and we need to select hide all Microsoft services and then just scroll all the way down this list and make sure you have VGC ticked here and then we're just going to select disable all. You can then press apply and OK to save these changes and we will need to restart our computer for these changes to take effect but for now we can just exit out of this and we're going to head back over to the start menu and you're going to search for services and then just tap on the services tab. From this list we need to scroll all the way down to the bottom and we're looking for a service called VGC and once you've found this VGC service we just need to double click on it and make sure the startup type is set to automatic and make sure the service status is set to running and we can then press apply and OK to save these changes. We can then head out of here and you need to come back over to the start menu. This time we're going to search for CMD and then right click on the command prompt and run as administrator. Inside of this black window, there's just a couple of commands that we need to type in. So the first one is net sh space winsock space reset and hit enter. And lastly, type in IP config space slash flush DNS and hit enter and then close out of this window. And we're finally gonna come over to our Valorant application and we're gonna right click on this, come into properties, inside of the compatibility tab, just ensure disable full screen optimizations and also run this program as administrator are both ticked and we can press apply and okay. And you'll then need to restart your computer for these changes to take effect. And once you restart the Valorant app, that should have fixed any critical error messages you were getting. Now, if you did find this video helpful, then please consider dropping a like and subscribing until next time.